Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of PGA Tour 2K23. We are going into round 4 of the Summit Championship at PPC Scottsdale. We're going to need a little bit of help from the leaders to finish out this round in a good spot, but I think we're up for the challenge. Let's go golf. UK Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to present today's events. We're here at the Summit Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. G'day everyone, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer, as they begin their round, what do you think of their chances? They're the top 10, but let's face it, I think they're a little bit too far behind the leaders. However, a stumble from the leaders and a good final push from this player Got to say, it's possible. Can't wait to see how today's play plays out. Time to get to the action. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Wonderfully played. And he's down there. The wind is at their back on this one. <laughs> a wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Well, that's a nice way to start, writing a little red number down on the scorecard at the first. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first, great job. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Second shot on the second. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. They've decided to club up. Oh, that's a great approach shot. This putt is of nine feet. Looking for another birdie here. Oh, what a stroke. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back-to-back -back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Currently 12 under for the event. Here we are at the third. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Puff of breeze moving this golf ball left to right. Going with the seven. Getting ready to play their third. Setting up here with a very long putt. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Just a four footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Solid par putt, that. He's currently tied for fifth. Here we are, in front of a par three. Oh, 
opting for the six iron. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Not too sure what they were thinking. Too much club. Didn't that look good for a long time? And a par putt awaits him. And well hold. Let's move on. Sitting at 12 under par for the event. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine nine. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Oh, this looks pure. That's a lovely effort, that one. That's a handy putt to make. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. And let's have another look at that one. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Here we are at the sixth hole. Oh, great swing there. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Uh, it's just a tad off line, that one. Headed towards the left. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. What's in front of them, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Get in the hole. Oh, so close. An opportunity to make a par here. On a nice line. Well done. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Always frustrated by missing a green. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Putting now for a bogey. Yep, tracking well. And a little slide down the leaderboard happening. Make sure you respond quickly. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Nicely done. Playing from around 190 yards out. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's a good looking shot there. Trying to move to 13 deep here with this putt. He's staring down a birdie putt here. 
Well, I like the look of this. Yeah, that's lovely weight. Getting it right up by the hole. Excellent job. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. The tempo there was exquisite. Lining up from around 160 yards. Puff of wind blowing right to left. Needs this one to kick right. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? This one will run uphill. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. A par putter waits. In she goes. Let's head to the next. He finds himself currently in seventh position. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. Well, well played. From about 130 yards here. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That could play. Yeah, the wind's really starting to blow, but that didn't phase them. A look to get to 13 under par. Now that's how you roll the rock. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Four feet to the cup. Ah, that's frustrating. Putting for bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Welcome to the tee of a par four. What are we looking at here, Henny? Our wind's just going to knock the ball down. It's straight at the back. Feeling strong, going for less club. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. Seven feet to the cup. Ouch, that hurts. Big putt for par coming up. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Teeing off now on this par three. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. And he's safely on the green. Outside chance here for the birdie. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. He's currently tied for seventh. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. They've had a chat with the caddy. 
And they're going for it. This one's on. Opting for the five wood. Yeah, that's a great play, Rich. Not quite on the dance floor, but a mighty drive. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Oh, what a super shot. Yeah, and that'll promote a good move up the standings. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Time to face a par four. Feeling good about their game right now, Luke. Coming off an eagle at the last. That's nicely done. Playing from around 230 yards. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Opting for the three wood. You love watching people play the game when it's like this. It looks so easy. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Currently 14 under for the event. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Lovely, lovely run. Getting ready to play their third. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Oh, tidy looking shot that. Trying to get to 15 under now with this opportunity. This for a birdie birdie run. Yeah, this is some high quality golf. Down the putt goes and it's 15 under par heading down the stretch. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. And choosing the eight iron here. Needs to make a move soon. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. Yes, Luke, and only two holes to go in this event. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. He currently shares fourth position. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. 
definitely needs to make a move on the field, and this is a golden opportunity on the short par four. What will they do? Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Time for the second shot at the 17th. No green in red, but a chance to save their par. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Well, here we are, the 18th hole. not the shot he's hoping for and they found themselves in the first cut oh I didn't see this as possible what a shot yeah that was tricky with that wind great shot there and this putt for a final score of 64. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Nice line. And that brings to an end his event. And as this event winds down, he finishes in fifth position. Absolutely. Got to see top five finish for this player this week. That's really solid work. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. A solid round to close out this tournament. We finish in fifth place. If not for a couple of mistakes that we made, uh, we could have easily been in a three-way tie for third, if not solo in third. Now it's on to the next one. been promoted to the PGA Tour by finishing the top 25 of the Corn Ferry Tour points rankings. We have earned a promotion to the PGA Tour. I'm thrilled with the result and I can't wait to start playing on the PGA Tour. Objectives. Welcome to the PGA Tour. Compete against the best professional golfers in the most challenging events of your career. Do you have what it takes to be number one? Qualify for the FedEx Cup playoffs. Top 125 and the Tour Championship Top 30. Win the Tour Championship and take home the FedEx Cup. All right, let's get started. Can't wait. Looks like our first tournament's gonna be at the Bluff Championship at Craggy Heights. We've even got a few rivals, Carol Burner, Ricky Fowler, and Bubba Watson. Bring it on, boys, and see what you got. And with that, we're going to bring today's video to a close. Please give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.